what we're doing here is we've put in a very strong network to monitor both the floods and the ecology of the whole of this valley. This little stretch we've got here, um, we've put in about 35% new river, or if you like, we've replaced 35% <laughs> more than it was. So that's 35% more habitat, important for things like salmon and for, for sea trout and trout, etc. We know that there are a lot more variety of habitats here, so we've got a lot more pools that we didn't have before. These very fast-flowing riffles here, where you get lots of oxygenation, very important for, for breeding grounds for salmon, and we know there's a lot more of those on this site, there's something like five times as much just in this little stretch here. Um, we've been looking at the invertebrates, I say, as well, so we know change is happening. Um, but the gravel has moved, the gravel is very important as well. There are big um, beetle populations that exist in these very mobile gravels that are very important again as a, a site of sci special scientific interest that we have here. So the salmon, the sea trout, the invertebrates, the plants, it's all building together. Well, what, one of the fantastic things we've got here is, is huge variety in the river. You can see it's very good quality, but you've got lots of lovely gravels like this. Um, very shallow, lots of oxygen coming across them. Really important for, for the, um, the eggs and, and for the salmon breeding on these areas. And we know we've got at least five or six areas just in this bit here, whereas previously there were none. So that's a direct re result of that. But you've also got fantastic variety here, the speed coming through and much more deep what areas here and they'll be important again for adult salmon not just the young ones etc. We also have um, lampreys in here which is like the sort of silty muddy area we've got so it's this variety and you can see the river is beginning to do its own meander to drop gravel on one side we've got the reeds growing on the other side and just around the corner it goes to into another area of fast flow and then a, a tree's fallen over and there's a really deep bit I and mean, it'd be way up to here at least in that bit um, and these are really important again in hot water in hot weather when we get it <laughs> these these deep pools are very important for salmon they can get in there and for trout um, and it'll be much much cooler there from that point of view so it's variety absolutely fantastic we've created variety and with that comes all the biological diversity you'd want And salmon, very important to the tweed. Um, we know that uh, something like 24 million pounds worth of, to the economy every year um, and well over 500 jobs. So we're the driving force of this. This is where the young salmon, you know, rise and, and grow and everything else like that. So tributaries like this are very important to the overall picture. So if you were to stick a net in here, you'd see you'd get lots of beetles and caddisfly larvae here and then you've got the silty bits there and that's where you'd get the, the young lampreys which bury themselves uh, into, the, um, into the silt etc. And they also migrate out to sea. Um, we, we have uh, sea lampreys as well which are big ones but mo most of these ones here are only about that big from this point of view, this age. Um, Interesting, we've got some really quite nice evidence also on the bird life because uh, as luck would have it, one of Scotland's best ornithologists lives in the village. So he's been surveying down here and, and recently he said we've had um, water rail down here, which is really good. I saw kingfisher when I was last down here. We've certainly got lots and lots of herons and, and dippers and grey wagtails and things like that. Um, a lot of sedge warbers singing in the background. Um, so very good habitat, yeah. I mean, what's clear here is that the river is doing its own thing, so we're not actively managing it, the river is managing itself. Um, and that's possible here because we've got the area in which we can work, there's room for the river as we might say. There are other areas where that would be um, impractical and not the right thing to do. You can imagine urban areas or maybe you've got very high quality agriculture or something else like that. But here we've got room and you've got backwaters here, you've got the gravel, you've got the deep bits, you've got everything here, really, really good habitat.